Hey guys, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a very simple DMX tester that will allow you to check if you're receiving DMX signal along a cable. It's a great thing to have in your toolbox to help you fault find problems, and it's very simple to make. Here's how you do it. So you're going to need a soldering iron and solder, a male XLR plug, a small length of wire, an LED of whatever colour you want, and a small value resistor. I'm using 110 ohms. So first, we need to take apart our XLR plug. So to create our DMX tester, we need to connect the resistor to pin 3, then the LED, then connect that back to pin 2. It's really very simple. Now it's time to solder it all together. First we solder on the resistor to pin 3 and a small length of wire to pin 2. Make sure you use something to hold down the connector as you solder, it'll make your life a lot easier. Though I suggest you use some electrical tape rather than using blue tack. The wire needs to be just the right length for the LED to poke out the end of the plug, so I suggest you don't cut them until you know exactly what length they need to be. So then we can solder on the LED making sure the positive and negative are connected the right way round. The positive side, called the anode, has a longer leg, and the negative side, the cathode, is the shorter leg. We want to have the anode connected to the resistor and the cathode connected to our wire. Once that's all soldered, we can put it all back together. If you want to, you can add some super glue or hot glue to hold the LED in place. Now you have a really simple DMX continuity tester to check you're getting a DMX signal. Simply plug it into the fixture or a DMX cable and if the LED lights up it means you're outputting DMX data. Now this isn't the world's most advanced testing device but it's really great for testing and fault finding DMX cables to find problems along your signal path. So that's it, hope you found this video interesting. If you do make your own DMX tester please send me a picture on Facebook or Twitter, I'd be really interested to see how you get on. And if you enjoyed the video please hit the like and share button. And as always, thanks for watching.